Welcome back to this video lecture series on programming questions for placement preparation. So today the problem we are going to find a solution for detect and remove loop from linked list. So the problem statement is like given a singly linked list show whether the list contains a loop or not and if it exists then remove the loop. So uh, this is basically a very you know popular and important question whenever we are talking about linked list so this is a uh, you know diagram where you can see this is basically a singly linked list but a uh, loop exists here so in this video lecture we are going to design a program which will be able to detect this loop and which will be able to remove the loop so if we remove the loop from this singly linked list the linked list will be one two three four five and this five will point to null not two so five will be the last node of the singly linked list so let's have a look at the approach so here what we are going to do for finding the loop in a linked list we are going to use the floyd's cycle finding algorithm for that we will be using two pointers which will be initialized with the head of the linked list let's name them slow and fast uh, we'll do that so uh, we will be iterating the list uh, till you know slow and fast and not null and in each iteration we will advance the slow pointer by one node and the fast pointer by two nodes now if at any point in the loop we find that slow and fast these two pointers becomes same then at that point we will realize yes a loop exists and will return true for loop detection so if we uh, see this uh, diagram here we can explain uh, that how uh, it will actually work suppose uh, this is uh, this is the head okay uh, this is the head of the linked list so uh, at the beginning slow and fast both pointers will be assigned with this so now when the loop starts first the slow will advance by one node so uh, in the first iteration we will have two as slow and the fast will advance by two nodes so after first iteration three will be fast so 2 is slow now 3 is fast in the next iteration 3 will be slow and 5 will be fast in the next iteration 4 will be slow and 3 will be fast and then in the next iteration 5 will be slow and again 5 will also be fast so at this point slow and fast becomes the same node so we will be able to tell that yes a loop exists so now uh, at the point the loop is detected we will break the loop and after coming out of the loop what we will do is we will start the process to remove the loop so we will assign the slow with the head again now again we will run a loop uh, with the condition while slow next is not equals to fast next and in the loop we will uh, you know iterate like uh, at each iteration we will advance both slow and fast by one node now after the loop we will get the fast and assign the next field of the fast to null and this will remove the loop so if we go back to this diagram so here at this point we find that slow and fast are equal so to remove what we do we uh, you know keep fast here and we assign slow with the head again so now slow is 1 fast is 5 now we will run a loop to check whether slow next and fast next are not equal if this condition uh, you know satisfies then the loop will run so in the first iteration we will see that the next of slow that is next of 1 is 2 and next of uh, fast that is next of 5 is also 2 so the loop will not be entered so we know that this is the node that is fast we will have to set the next field of this node to null so we will break this linkage here from 5 to 2 and this will point to null now so if we do this then we will get a singly linked list without a loop that is 1 2 3 4 5 so let's now jump on to the programming part and see how we can do it so uh, I basically have already typed down some lines of codes uh, it's very basic code for actually creating a singly linked list what I have done here I have written a function above here add node which will add a single node at each time I'm, I'm calling this function and here uh, we will get 5 as the head of the linked list 
and one as the uh, last node of the singly linked list now at this point i'll create a loop here so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to make a loop uh, like the last node of the linked list that is one will point to the uh, second node of the linked list that is four so to do that i'll first say head next next this is the last node and this now will point to the second node right so a loop has been created now now uh, we will call a function which will detect the loop and remove the loop so let me name it detect and remove loop and we'll pass this head of the linked list after we uh, do that we will run another loop let me just do it right now to check whether the loop has been removed properly or not while the head is not equals to null we'll print down the nodes head data separated by a space and head equals to head next simple linked list iteration so now here i am going to define this delete and remove loop function so the return type will be void and the argument passed here is struct node star so here first i'm going to check uh, if sorry head is equals to equals to null or head next is equals to is equals to null then do nothing so i'll just say return it's obviously if the head is not null then there's no point of having a loop in a linked list because there's no linked list and if there's only a single node then you cannot have a loop you at least need two nodes to have a loop inside a linked list so uh, if this is uh, not the condition we have more than one nodes in a linked list then i'll take these two pointers uh, the very conventional way we actually apply the floyd cycle finding algorithm so struct node star i'm going to name this slow and assign it with the head and another uh, pointer to the linked list node i'll name it sorry fast and again pointing to head so now i'm going to run a loop here while slow is not null fast is also not null and also fast next is also not null so if i write only slow it means that slow is not null so i do not have to explicitly mention slow not equals to null or like that so if this is the condition what we do we advance slow by one node and we advanced fast by two nodes so fast next next and now time to check if there's a loop or not if slow is equals to fast then what i'll be doing i'll simply say break now after coming out of this loop i'll check if slow is equal to is equal to fast then yes there's a loop exists otherwise i'll simply see out no loop found and then end line now here if uh, we see yes that there's a loop i'll first print down this message loop detected now we are going to uh, remove the loop for that uh, i'm going to assign the slow pointer with the head 
and run this while loop while slow next is not equals to fast next and here uh, I'll advance both of these pointers by one node so slow is equal to slow next and fast is equal to fast next and after coming out of this loop I'll assign this fast next to null right so now here the you know linked list with the removed loop will be printed so I'll just print down this message linked list after loop removal is sorry and an end line that's it so mm, let's have another look okay so this is all done it seems so let's now run this code okay so here is the output and you can see it says loop detected so yes there is a loop and the linked list after loop removal is 5 4 3 2 1 as we had expected there was a loop from 1 to 4 uh, what we did we broke that connection between 1 to 4 and told that uh, this node with the value of 1 to point to null because this is going to be the last node of the linked list and we printed just like that so this was a very simple way and an efficient way to detect and remove a loop in a linked list. Thank you for watching this video and staying with us. See you next time.